Was the Ten Commandments really written on stone? Part two as the video runs out. So I'll carry on from here. Um, most, if not all of us, come through the Christian church or are still within one. They got their Ten Commandments being written on stone, believed from the Christian church founders and its translators, and read from these films. Testament. Ten Commandments and other media has impressed in our belief system that is how it was. I remind you to ask the question, where was the sacrificial sins forgiveness instructions recorded, if not in on this tables of stone and in and in, con, and, in, and constituted of ex and consist of Exodus chapter twenty five to thirty one verse eighteen. Of course, the church cannot say the Ten Commandments are done away, as they would be foolish and lead to anarchy, full scale lawless, lawlessness of murders, rapes, etc. But they can teach the feast days of Leviticus 23 was done away by Yeshua, who some call Jesus' death, providing they persuade Christians that the Exodus chapters 28, verses 8 to 10, which talks about the weekly Sabbath, can be kept on another day, such as Sunday. God reinstituted his way of righteousness, of righteous living through Moses to the descendants of Israel who were to be an example, or the Bible calls a light, to the other nations. This way had two elements. Keep the laws and if you break any, of, if you break any get forgiveness through the stipulated method, as I said, part A and part B, left hand and right hand. Commandments. Faith in the blood of the Lamb, Leviticus chapter 16. Yeshua's death contained these two things. Keep my Father's laws, and if you break any, repent and seek forgiveness through my Yeshua's blood. He replaced by improvement, not getting rid of, the, the Day of Atonement sacrifice, as this, that's narrated in Leviticus chapter 16. Being the Lamb and the High Priest, as Paul refers to him in the book of Hebrews, Hebrews. Even Revelations ends with these two elements of commandment keeping and faith. You should, um, Revelations 12, 17. And the dragon was angry with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Yeshua. Two things. Revelations 14, 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that, one, keep the commandments of God, and two, faithful Jesus. And if you look at Revelation chapters 22, 14, you notice those who perfectly keep the commandments of God do not need the sacrificial system, and they have a right to enter into eternal life. So Exodus ends with the making of a sanctuary, of the sanctuary sin forgiveness system, and God's glory filling the tabernacle. Leviticus starts with the continuation of God's instructions through Moses and by the time we reach the end of what we call the Torah, God's righteous instructions, the society, meaning the nation of Israel, is established with God and his system at the helm. Are all his righteous ways at your helm? Do you keep his seventh day specifically identified Sabbath period of sunset, what we call today Friday to sunset um, Saturday, the sixth day to the seventh, and do you keep his other holy days, annual ones of Leviticus 23, Passover, Day of Atonement, and so on, or have you replaced them with pagan ones as Easter and Christmas and Mother's Day and so on? These are just part of not all of his God's ways. If you do not, but think in addition to your love for others and the other teachings, you can substitute these. I leave you with these verses. In other words, you can't just think that loving your neighbour would be enough. You remember Matthew 7, 21 to 23? They did all those good works, they thought, but they were told to do iniquity. Most people today are taught, love your neighbour, the second, the least of the commandments, commandments, and they forget the primary one of loving God. So some verses for you to know. Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 2, which is also read, Stated in First Peter chapters one verse sixteen, speak unto the God speak saying, speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, and say unto them, you shall be holy, for I Yahweh your God am holy. Verse five, and if you offer a sacrifice of peace offering unto Yahweh, you shall offer it at your own will. It shall be 
eating the same day he offered it. And on the morrow, he offered it. And on the morrow. And if any of it remain until the third day, it shall be burnt in fire. And if it be eaten at all on the third day, it is abominable. It shall not be accepted. Therefore, every one that eateth it shall bear his iniquity, because he have profaned the hallowed things of Yahweh, and that soul shall be cut off from among his people. I add this in that verse to show you how pacific God is. If he says you eat something on day one and day two, and you eat it on day three, thinking that it does really matter, it does matter. Uh, One cannot offer what they want when they want in the manner they want. God is specific. This applies to all hallowed things. Hallowed means holy. There you have the same word in Hebrew. It comes from the same Hebrew root word as sanctified. See, the same Hebrew word, the English has given it three separate or two separate words, hallowed and holy. Or Kodesh. Which, are found, which is found in Genesis chapter 2, verse 3, which says, And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, made it holy, hallowed it, kind of thing. It, not any other day, it, Pacific, because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. Leviticus 23, verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them concerning the feast of Yahweh, which you shall proclaim to be holy convocations even these are my feasts so they're not jewish they are gods so learn from the past and do not make the same mistake as ezekiel chapters 22 verse 26 which says her priests have violated my law and have profaned mine holy things they have put no difference between the holy and the profane Neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean. And have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths. And I am profane among them. So God has made it very clear. Do not make that same mistake. I think that any day will do. All is the same. We should worship God every day as some of the excuses I, I keep hearing. If you understand God's system, he actually does have worship every day, the third and ninth hour, just, just like Daniel did at, at his window. And he also says in Psalms, God has a daily prayer time, so you're within, he's in your heart and thoughts daily. He has a weekly one on the seventh day, and he has an annual one as Leviticus 23 list. Romans chapter verse, 7 verse 12, Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandments holy, and just, and good. So, we should not transgress God's instructions by inherited trans trans traditions of men. So, as I said, um, there's a website listed at the bottom there. I hope you now will study and see that what is commonly taught to be the Ten Commandments of Exodus chapters 20, verses 2 to 24, verse 4 and 7, were not written on stone. They are not number 10, they're not number 10, Ten Commandments, there's more than 10 of them. And Moses wrote them in a book and that became part of the covenant that the people were to do. And the next part of the covenant was what the priests were to do and what Yeshua came to replace and what Paul refers to in the book of Hebrews. Um, Yeshua did not come to replace the things that the people to do, he just came to, re to improve what the priests were to do because they kept off and said, blemish animals, it says in Malachi. Shalom, until we study again, God willing.